It's the 2nd of April and we're continuing our series of interviews with famous ex-students. Today we have a very special guest, District Court Judge Paul Conlon. Paul was here in the 1960s and in 1969 was college captain. Thank you for coming and welcome back. Oh, thanks for having me back. Yeah, so if you'd like to start by maybe just telling us a little bit about your life before you arrived at Morris College Cogra or well, Morris Brothers High School, as it so would have been I, there. I was, uh, I was born in, uh, in Randwick and consequently uh, my early years uh, going to year three and four were at Marsland College Randwick. My parents then uh, moved to San Susi. I spent uh, a year uh, travelling uh, from San Susi back over to uh, Randwick and then I had enough of the travel. And I said, you better send me to the local school, which was uh, Morris Brothers Cogra, and uh, then it started, of course, in year five. So that was about 1962. Two. And your memories of the place when you arrived, what um, What do you recall? Uh, well, I, my memory of Morris Brothers Cogra is always looking at it from the railway line. And you could always see it up here, you could see the chapel, and uh, the only difference to the front of the school uh, in the years that I was here was basically the building of the, uh, the gymnasium as we, as we now see it. And uh, the other thing that I can remember is that uh, the schoolyard with the cricket nets there uh, all around the, uh, the southern side and up in the, uh, the northwestern corner, the, the tuck shop. <laughs> That's about my first memory of the place. Any staff, any students stand out in your memory? Well, I can remember the principal of the school, uh, Brother Frederick, of course. Um, I can uh, remember, probably the person that I remember most was uh, Brother Martin, who was uh, always the French and Latin teacher. And uh, I can remember having, he was my French and Latin teacher from uh, years seven right through to ten. And uh, I became very, very good at French and Latin. That's basically because Brother Martin had the fear of uh, God in all of us. And uh, that was the one, it was the one subject, or subjects I used to go home and actually do my homework and study because uh, if you didn't know it, the next day uh, you knew you were going to meet the cane and Brother Martin. That's how he used to drum in India. So, uh, so, so I guess the cane was fairly standard discipline. Very practice. standard, very standard. Very standard. He, he had a practice of uh, coming in the next morning and uh, asking questions which you were supposed to have uh, learnt the night before. And uh, he had an incredible knack of uh, picking you when it was the one question that you didn't know. That's right. So you would have finished here about late 60s? I, I finished, yeah. The, the school certificate was 67, and that happened to be the first year of the HSC. So I was in the third year of the HSC, which was 69. Yeah, so that would have been in the midst of all those Wyndham scheme that changes. Was, yeah. It was. Yeah. yeah. And the, 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 the teacher that I remember a lot there because he was the coach of the, uh, the rugby league side was a brother Coleman and he was a really really good football coach. Yeah, because sport was a big part of your time here too wasn't it? A huge part. I mean that, that, that was one of my reasons for uh, coming to school was a sport. I was a bit of a lazy student. Cogra students lazy. Wouldn't have day wouldn't guys. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so after school where does life take you? Uh, well, after school, um, I was just mentioning to Neil, uh, I, I think that there's pressure that is placed on students these days to uh, have to make a determination about where they're going to be as soon as they leave school and what courses they're going to do. Um, and the reality is, I think that a great majority can't really have a firm opinion of uh, what they're going to be wanting to do. In to do for the rest of their lives. So I didn't really know. I left school. I decided to get a job. I uh, just per chance ended up in the Attorney General's Department. And a couple of years uh, after that, there were a lot of people who studied law, and uh, that's the direction that I went in. Okay. Um, so since then, you're being you're now a district court judge. Yeah. I believe on the um, judiciary NRL. That's, that's a right. recent appointment, is it? That's well. Yeah. yeah. I've. Um, with the Judiciary, I was Judiciary Council uh, going back probably about four years ago now, uh, which really means that you uh, present the evidence against the player uh, before, the, before the panel, uh, and you're really presenting on behalf of the NRL. And uh, over the, uh, once I was appointed a judge, um, it was not then uh, appropriate for me to appear as Judiciary Council in front of the then Chairman, Greg Woods, who was another District Court judge because of my position. So consequently they then made me the Deputy Chairman and uh, as things have turned out, um, the Chairman at least uh, as of this year.
because we have a number of students from here who have been sort of successful in NRL. We had Keith Galloway back a few days ago. So, Keith yeah. Galloway, there's been a lot of great you know, footballers that have come out of this school, yeah. and I think probably, in my view, uh, none better than Robert Stone. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He Good. passed away a couple of years ago. Yeah, very right. sadly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's, uh, he was just uh, the absolute epitome of an incredibly tough rugby league player. But he was a one for human being too, with a great sense of humour. Yeah, yeah. And, and he maintained that sense of humour right through the end. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right. very fun. Bumper Farrell as well. Bumper Farrell in the early times. days, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was a tough so, old campaign. Those tough days. Um, the Stevens brothers, they were both here, the, um, Jason and uh, Paul, wasn't it? Paul, yeah. Yeah, that's so, right. Played, so, plus lots of others. Anything um, else you wanted to ask? How did Cogra sort of prepare you for what you do now? It wouldn't have been anything exactly, but just well, you know, I, I, the, the the thing uh, which I think probably impacted upon me most was the discipline that existed in the schools in the sixties. Now, whether that be Ashley La Salle, Christian Brothers Lewis, and Marsland College, Marsland Brothers Cobra, I think the discipline was there, uh, and a lot of if if I guess if you look back at specific incidents, a lot of people would say that the discipline may have been over the top in some circumstances and it wasn't quite fair. Well, in many cases it wasn't quite fair, but nor is life. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was dealt with unfairly, but I got used to that. And uh, that was, uh, I think that in itself prepared me uh, to be able to stand the kicks and the knockdowns you're going to get once you leave school, because you'll get them. Well, okay. that's, that's great. That's great. Thanks again. Okay, thank you for your time. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. Okay. I